What's up everybody? It is Greg. We are back in the garage for another video, another vlog. Yes, it is Saturday. And guess what? You'll be shocked. You'll be amazed. You'll be happy. But guess what we have here? That's right. That's right. Missing tie rod. This thing has been a bad boy. It's been everywhere. It's been in Ocala. It's been in Orlando for no reason. Finally in St. Cloud. I got it. The guys felt so bad to give me a brand new tie rod tool. I don't know why, because a regular one would have worked. But check this thing out. Brick, brand new OEM. I don't know. Hopefully this thing works. Hopefully it fits. Time to take apart the old one. Hopefully I can get it out without too much fuss. Take the outers back to AutoZone. Get my refund. For the warranty exchange, get the new ones not put in. I think maybe if I have my grinder here, if I can use that to modify them the way I need to, then I'll just do that. If not, then I'll have to wait till tomorrow. But hopefully I can get it done today. And then I want to take the rear wheels off, clean them up the same way I did the fronts, put them everything back together, and then we'll be good to go. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully everything gets done today. It is getting cold out. Got some things I need to clean up on the front. Let's go to work. I kind of want to just set you guys down right there as I do this. You know where you don't. 19 mil tie rod. Hopefully yours isn't busted too bad that they don't spin. Do that. What I like to do is take the nut all the way down. If you are keeping these, um, you will take it down to the edge, then you can hit here with a hammer or just get the tool. I don't have the tool. So you can just hit the bottom here with a hammer or back here and it normally rocks it and shakes it loose. If you aren't keeping it, then who cares because you're putting a new one on anyways. But let me get a hammer and we'll knock this up. She's out. Your tire rod's not supposed to do this. It's supposed to be super, super stiff. And this one, see that too? That should be stiff. That's just worn out. Now, for the serious part that you guys really need to see. Okay, so now you have your tie rod out. Hopefully it was all recording. Um, get two, I just two, use two adjustable wrenches. One on, your tie rod's gonna have a flat on the bottom and the top. And then on one on this nut right here. It shouldn't be too tight. Just snag the nut loose. It should just be resting up on it. Then you, what you're gonna wanna do is count, starting from the bottom, count how many revolutions it takes to get it off and then when you put your new one on you want to get it back and most as close as possible to that same count because when you put everything back together now you'll still need an alignment but it'll be close more or less that way you can drive to your shop to get it aligned if a shop isn't already doing your work now like I showed you guys before where's the there you go I think I almost know for a fact that my my tie rods, the outers are screwed almost all the way in because of lowering and all that jazz and they almost won't go anymore. But I've heard from Rafa and Chris at Action Tire that if I take a little bit off the back end, I think it is, or that end, I have to call and make sure, just 100% that you take a quarter inch off and you get a little bit more adjustability and that quarter inch will give you what you need to get your tie rods, your toe alignment dead perfect on a Mark III when you lower it because it can only go so far. Um, so once you do that, 
I can put everything back in and we'll be good to go. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now I'm going to grab the tool, take the whole old assembly out after I count how many revolutions, and then we can go from there. I'll just use some tape and a marker to write it down and tape it somewhere so I have a reference to, to look back on. To count. So, one, two, 20, 21, two, 23, 23. So I know when I put the new one on, 23 is where I'm going to have to start from. Okay, so as I thought, I don't know why I kept saying it, the inner part that connects inside. It's the it's the outer shaft because mine is screwed almost all the way in. So what I need to do is connect, um, which is going to be a little bit difficult. Anyway, take a quarter inch off here. That way I'll have a little bit more adjustability. That way if I need to pop it out there and then screw it in a couple more times, that's what I'll have to do. Um... But according to everything else, we should be good to go. Yeah, so I'll just trim a quarter inch off here. And then when I go for an alignment, they'll able to screw in and lock it in, the, the alignment. So thanks to Rafa for the info again. Okay, so now with the tie rods modified, I can use the tool and get the old ones out, um, put the new ones in, and we should be good to go after that. I think we're good. No, we're good. And then fix this Pesky side skirt, put the wheels on, drop her down maybe even take her out for a dry, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we got a lot of work to do. I've never used this tool before, but it looks pretty straightforward, like if we, I guess if I, I can lock this into place or something? Oh, there's that, so you lock it into place, and then what you'll do is you just take this, slide it over the tie rod, like that, and then you use your wrench on this side and crank it loose. So, yeah, let's start. Let's do that. I don't know where my tripod is, or else I'd sit you guys up in a tripod. So I have like random weird places to sit you guys down. I almost fell off my chair. Almost fell off my chair. You see the stuff I need for you guys? Almost died, just right now. Almost died. Let me get this stuff out the way. Get down on the ground here. Let me get my ratchet. I have that already. I love sitting on a cold floor. Let me get you guys up here. I love sitting on a cold floor. Working on a Mark III. Now, from what it looks like, I think I have to remove the boot because this isn't going to go over it. So I'm going to have to figure that out as well. Hmm. Okay. So if you can, you can see that right there. I'm going to bring you guys closer. See what's going on here? See that tie rod? See that? See how it just wants to fall down? Okay, that's bad. The new one, so you could see I'm holding it on the end. No movement. No movement. I tried to bend it myself and I couldn't. So this is just it's torn up. Okay. So from what I gather, we will just take this, slide it over your tire up. My goodness. And try to. This is gonna have to go a different way. I want to see which one fits. Maybe the one I picked is a little too tight. Hold on. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, so ending off the video here because it is Super Bowl Sunday and I'm trying to go watch the game. Um, tomorrow, I am going to go to AutoZone right now though. Return the tool and return the two outer ends for the refund. But tomorrow when I get home from work, I will lock everything down with as far as putting the tie rod and stuff back together. And if I can, I will take the car to get an alignment tomorrow. If not, Tuesday or Wednesday for sure. But she will be back on the ground tomorrow. That way I can roll her out, wash her, clean her, and do everything else that I need to do. Um, I did stop to get a heads up on this thing. I want to get this project done with as well. As you can see, the other two pieces are in-house. This is the first coat going on. Yes, this is a king size bed frame. So, yeah, I just wanted to get this started. The way I can get this over with. The way I can get the car back in the garage. So, yep. Well, like I've always said, uh, if this is the first time uh, seeing the videos and you would like to and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of content coming this year. Uh, don't worry, next week, 100%. We are going to Euro Tripper. That is going to be an awesome, awesome time with an awesome show. I'm going to see all of you guys there if you're going to make it. I know some guys already DM me and said they're going to come in from out of town. So that would be cool. Um, and that's it, man. Uh, everybody have an awesome, awesome week. And we'll see what happens in the Super Bowl. So I will see you guys next time in the garage. Peace.